And good evening. I'm Tim Wright. And I'm Winston Williams. It's 6.06 in the evening. I think it's a real good time to put some jazz on the radio. I agree. And um, speaking of jazz, and live jazz as well, I think we've got some, some good news. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, tomorrow, Monday 1st, at the Count Theater, the Court Theater in um, Sarasota, there's Sanaya Carroll in concert. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. for dinner and drinks if you want to get there early, you know, make it a little date night or something like that. If you're just there for the music, the actual concert starts at 7.30. And accompanying her will be Tom Pizzi on the keyboards, Larue Nicholson on guitar, Michael Ross on the bass, and Mark DeRose on the Devons, on the drums, sorry. I didn't write this, so you understand. Also, next month, August, imagine that the month you know ends tomorrow mm-hmm. is the first of august but um also on the first on the 12th of august friday august 12th at the palladium in st peter's at st petersburg college there's the clearwater jazz holiday benefit concert and eric darius will be having his album release parties there at the palladium um so if you want more information to get tickets everything like that go to clearwaterjazz.com for more information so, live jazz tomorrow, the 1st, and on the 12th of August. Good stuff all around. Yeah, man. Well, tonight we're going to go ahead and jump into part two of two, what I was calling Bowdoin's Edge Jazz. This is jazz in and around the Lake Constance region. That's a rather large glacial lake bordered by Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. And there is just some amazing music that comes out of that region. Uh, joked about there's got to be something in the water and the St. Gallen newspaper has a couple of columnists who kind of share the same opinion as mm-hmm. well since there's something about that lake I guess that it brings out the best in, not just music but all kinds of arts it's just astounding what's going on out there and two weeks ago we had our first hour quite a few musicians I hope you all enjoyed and then this evening I've got another four musicians and bands here that uh to kind of round things out and uh, sort of suitable or fitting as well since tomorrow is the 1st of August is a Swiss holiday. It's Swiss National Day. They celebrate their independence. Okay. Their formation of the Confederation back in 1291. Wow. That's old. Yeah. They've been around for a very long time. And anyways, that holiday is a very big deal. And so for our Swiss friends, we do wish a happy Swiss National Day come tomorrow. And... Meanwhile, let's go ahead and jump into some of this music here. I'm going to talk about this first musician here, Uwe Ladwig. He's from Konstanz, which is, legally, it's Germany. You've got on the western edge of the lake, it sort of splits off or forks off. And in the middle of that fork is Konstanz. Okay. And, and just south of that is that fork becomes the Rhine River, and that's the, the legal border. But, you know, in some ways, Konstanz is like Jacksonville in Florida. You know, it's, <laughs> legally, it's Florida. Some folks call it Georgia's <laughs> southernmost city. And in the case of Konstanz, it's like, well, yeah, it's legally Germany. But they're down there in the lake, and they're probably, the, the people there are probably just as Swiss as they are German. Mm-hmm. And, well, that whole region, it's, it's, it's more of a regional thing, not a national thing. But anyways, Uwe Ladwig, he's... He's a very, very busy musician. He's led several jazz bands, and I've got some stuff here from the Lakeside Jazz Orchestra. This is a big band Mm -hmm. that was playing from 2011 to 2021. They were based out of Konstanz, but again, this is a band, the musicians are just a fairly even mixture of German and Swiss jazz musicians. They were playing gigs all around the lake. Mm -hmm. And um, it was around 2020 that um, Ludwig, I guess, the the band the big band I guess broke up and he formed another group called Horns and Beat which is a very unique sextet. It's a band with just one drummer and several wind instruments. You've got one trumpet and four saxophones, alto, tenor, baritone, and bass sax, and they've got a okay. very unique sound and distinct. Oh, okay. And we're going to play a little something from each of those bands. We're going to start things off here with a tune called Brown Apple Cake from the Lakeside Jazz Orchestra. And then following that up with a cover of Mercy, Mercy, Mercy from Horns and Beat. So here goes Uwe Ladwig and the Lakeside Jazz Orchestra.
And that was Horns and Beat doing their cover of Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. And before I forget, there's one other band I wanted to mention here. Uwe Ludwig also founded in 2020 a 12-piece big band that specializes in the dance music from the late 20s and the early 30s called Ludwig's Hot Jazz Orchestra. We're talking Ellington, Fletcher Henderson, Gold Ketta, Basie, mm. Lunsford, that type of stuff. And wow. uh, we'll have to find a way to sneak that in on the show <laughs> later on. We've got so many other things going on. It's just, oh, yeah. busy, busy. Anyway.